Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady is such a fun cruise to get on, but one of the top complaints that people have is there's no drinks package on Virgin Voyages. That's right, you can't get a drink package on Virgin Voyage. And so in this video, I'm gonna help you to figure out how much you might spend when you are on a cruise by bringing you through a day with as many menus and prices as possible so that you can know what to expect and have the best trip possible coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. This is one of so many Virgin Voyages videos that I have, so make sure you check the description for a full playlist and a killer deal on your next cruise if you haven't booked yet. Let's dive straight in with the three ways that you can start your morning. Well, there are many ways, but whether you're a coffee, juice, or smoothie, or maybe Maybe you are diving straight into mimosas, please hold the orange juice. There are lots of ways to start your morning. If you're getting coffee, there are two places that you can get specialty coffee. And at the coffee bar that's upstairs in the galley or on the seventh floor, you can expect to pay around four to five dollars for a specialty drink. And what I mean by that is I love to drink a flat white or Meatball loves to drink a mocha. So if you're getting a specialty coffee, that will cost you extra. Obviously, you can get a shot of whiskey or anything you want in there. Um, but if you want free coffee, you can go just get regular coffee, whether at the galley, or you can get regular coffee if you're dining for brunch at Razzle Dazzle or The Wake. And speaking of The Wake, this is one of the top things that people miss because they don't know this secret about how there's brunch on this cruise. So make sure you check out the other video. But on this menu, there's a couple fun things here. One is the bottomless brunch. So for $25, you can do unlimited rosé wine, sparkling wine, mimosas. Their filthy Bloody Mary really is delicious. I love that Bloody Mary. Um, and they have beers as well that are also on that bottomless brunch. Or you can do individual brunch cocktails if you're not looking to go cray cray in the morning. And you can that will run you around $11 to $13 for cocktails, um, anywhere from like $6 for a Heineken to, ooh, fancy, uh, $11 for a Belgian ale. Um, or you can go straight to wine. Um, and you can have wine priced anywhere from six to $21 if you are drinking Moet. And you don't have to go all the way up. Most of the wines are priced around that $10 range. And so brunch could look like this. Or if you're not quite ready to rage just yet, head over to the dock and the dock house where they have fresh juice and fresh uh, like healthy shots. And so on the back of the boat on seven, you'll find the dock and dock house. And here, whether you're getting cold pressed juice at seven or eight dollars or freshly extracted juice, right? Uh, in the $10 range or healthy shots for five dollars, you can also choose to start your morning with um, juices or fresh shots. Ooh, I lied. There's one more way you can start your morning and that's with a fresh smoothie. So if you want something a little bit more hearty, you can go to the athletic club bar, also where they have the pajamas party but over here you can grab a smoothie for 10 to 11 dollars for something a little bit more filling or maybe you want to double fist some moet as you walk into one of the gym classes this morning that's also an option and after you do that gym workout whatever you choose and I really do love how virgin voyages is all about the detox to retox with tons of fitness classes that are all included that's one of the top things that people don't know is that you're not paying extra for these classes but that's in another video make sure you check out the playlist below but maybe now it's time for gym and tonic this is the pool bar you can head over to the pool don't forget to rinse off before you get in the pool uh, and head over there for an afternoon of drinking in the sunshine and so pulling up this menu whether you're going for another smoothie or a cold pressed juice that's running you anywhere from seven to thirteen dollars um, or if you are just ready for cocktails 
or maybe some Frosé all day, right? Their Frosé all day is $13. Um, or maybe you're just drinking beers at the pool. A lot of people do that, $6 for a Heineken over there. And so you can hang out by the pool, whether you're having cocktails or beers or whatever it is, but this menu is what the pool bar looks like. And after several drinks at the pool, maybe it's time to grab some something to eat for lunch or have some small bites. One of my favorite things is to go back to the dock house. Uh, it's Mediterranean themed food, so it's a lot of small tapas style plates. And you do have the option to sit inside if it's hot, a little bit of air conditioning is nice. Or if you wanna go outside, they have tons of day beds and it overlooks the back of the boat, which is really nice because you can have a view of the water. But come here to get some small bites and then maybe it's time to move on to their some of their fun drinks. And each restaurant will have its own like special drinks and generally a cocktail that switches over on each sailing. I've never seen the same specialty cocktail twice. Um, but one example of something that is specific to the dock house is they have their orange blossom and blackberry sangria. So you can get a glass of sangria for $12 or a whole carafe for 48, or maybe you're having a cocktail for between 11 and $15. You can grab a cocktail over here, or maybe you're just drinking wine um, and that's running you between seven and $14, or maybe just a beer or something like that for five or $6. By the way, I hope you're starting to get a feel for how much drinks cost on this cruise. Because again, Virgin Voyages doesn't have a drinks package, but they do have deals around bar tabs or sailor loot where they will add additional money to the bar tab that you buy into that is uh, use it or lose it, by the way, which is important as to why you get free sailor loot. In other words, if you just want free drinks and tons of them, make sure you check out some of the deals my friend can hook you up with in the description below. But if you're getting some value, cheers that like button. And let's go take a nap because whether you're napping at the dock house on one of the day beds while you're drinking some spritzes, or if you're going back to your room, you also have the option to order drinks to your room. And this is all happening from your app. And you can have the drinks ordered to your room so that maybe, you know, a little nightcap before your nap or something to pick me up when you wake up. You can have them deliver uh, a full bottle of wine or even a half bottle of wine because every room does come with a refrigerator. Um, and so having drinks delivered to your room could be your next option. And if you ever wake up from that nap, then maybe it's time to go catch some live music. The music on the ship is amazing. Head to On the Rocks. This is a great spot on the sixth floor where the roundabout is at. Um, the bar there is fantastic. And you can listen to some live music and have some drinks over here. And one of the things that's unique about this bar is they have a lot of options for different kinds of whiskey, right? On the rocks. And so, right, the prices run the gamut, whether you're getting something for a single malt scotch for $17, or you're getting a single malt scotch that's 63 or $67. It can really run the gamut, but what's cool is you have a lot of options for different kinds of whiskeys if you head over to On The Rocks. Cocktails here uh, are running you in the 13 to $17 range. Bottles of beer, $6 all the way up to $11 for Lagunitas. So this is what the prices look like for On The Rocks. But you know what one of my favorite places is? It's right down the, I don't want to call it the street, right down the ship just a bit. And that's heading over to Sip. Oh, I love spending time at Sip because I'm a champagne kind of girl. But one of the things that's really unique about this spot, you can look at the menu and there are champagnes that are hard to get by the glass that they serve here by the glass. So for example, you can get a glass of Dom for $55, totally reasonable given normally um, you, can get a, you can get a bottle of Dom for $2.99 here. But if you go to other restaurants, especially in New York or San Francisco, Francisco or Miami, you're paying significantly more than $300 for a bottle of Dom. Um, or you can also get a glass of Veuve uh, Brut Rosé for $29. So it's fairly reasonable for what it is, um, but you don't have to go all the way up on the drinks, right? You can still find yourself with a I love drinking Chandon Brut. I used to be a wine club member there forever. A great California winery, but a glass is only $11, $11. This is what the menu looks like and some of the options that are available there. 
All right, let's head to dinner because there is some really fun drinking options at each of the dinner restaurants. And let's give Pink Agave as an example. So this is the Spanish or Mexican themed restaurant. And what's cool is they have a really extensive mezcal and tequila list. There's a lot of options here. And if you're like, oh my gosh, like these menus, I need to screenshot them. Like, yo, just just read the blog post and print it out. It's available for free for you because yo, I want you to have the best time possible. So full blog post with all the images of all of the menus that were shared here, link in the description below, as well as that full playlist of all the helpful videos to help you out. But you can expect a ton of options and in full transparency at Pink Agave, I actually didn't order anything from the menu. Don't forget that each stateroom, not person, each stateroom is allowed two bottles of wine. If you are looking for a helpful pack list and things to remember to bring, because Virgin Voyages is different than other cruise lines, that pack list and that video is also available to you in the description below. But if you choose to bring your own wine, that's also an option. How do you end the night? Maybe it's gambling. And if that's for you, then don't forget that while you are actively gambling, your drinks are comped. But if you're like me, you spend it in the dance floor at the Manor. And the Manor nightclub has a menu that I was too drunk to remember to take a photo of for you. But you have a gist, right, of what the entire day costs. For me on this trip, I actually did not spend any money on booze. And that's because I had so much free sailor loot that all my drinks were covered. And not only that, I had a rock star wristband, which means that I got free Moet every day at Richard's Rooftop VIPs only. If you're like, wait, wait what? Make sure you check the description because all of those answers are in there for ya. But if you're wondering how much you will spend, well, go check out that blog post so you can do a little bit of math. If you got some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. If you have a helpful tip, add it in the comments below. We're all a community. And yo, score an amazing deal on this cruise line in the description below. I'm already booked on a f not a few, several more of these cruises. So I'm super excited. I hope to see you on a future sailing. Ciao.